In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this little canary in order to support the canary craft fist movement that's happening at the minute. This is a very simple project. I'm going to guide you through it step by step. If you have any questions or concerns about this, just leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can and hopefully help you out. I'm also going to be leaving a few links in the description below um, to explain more about the canary craft fist movement and I'm going to be talking about it a little bit at the end of the video as well if you want to find out more about what's going on how you can get involved it's all really exciting and I really would recommend checking it out. The written pattern to make this canary can be found on my blog and there's a link to that pattern in the description below. For the canary you will need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, double knit yarn in bright yellow and light brown, four ply yarn in black, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, a regular sewing needle, white sewing cotton and some toy stuffing. So to make the body of the canary you will need uh, your 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and bright yellow double knit yarn and the first thing you need to do is make a magic loop with six single crochet. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link in the description below to show you how to make a magic loop. Um, but essentially, you should end up looking like this. You then need to make six single crochet into this loop that you've made here. So, one, two, three, four five, six, and then tighten it like so. Round two uh, then requires you to make two single crochet into each stitch. So we insert our crochet hook into the first stitch, make two single crochet into that stitch, and then the next one, oops, one and then two and then just continue that around so after you've done that you should end up with 12 stitches five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now this is probably a good time to start using a stitch marker uh, if you've got a proper one that's great but I'm just going to use a piece of contrasting yarn to mark the end of my round. So round three you have to single crochet make two single crochet in the next stitch and do all of that six times. So the first stitch we're going to make one single crochet into the next stitch we're going to make two single crochet into and then we're going to make one single crochet into the following stitch and then two single crochet and then one and then two and just continue that around until you reach the end of this round And that should leave you with 18 stitches. Uh, now for the for round three, we're going to do single crochet two, make two single crochet in the next stitch and do that six times. So we make a single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochet into the following stitch. So one single crochet, one single crochet, Two single crochet, one, one, two, one, one, two, and then just continue that to the end. And that should leave you with 
24 stitches. So now rounds four to eight, which is five rounds, we just single crochet in each stitch. So that's pretty easy. Just single crochet and then continue that round. Right, now we've done five rounds of single crocheting in each stitch, we need to do round nine. So the first part of round nine says, single crochet, make two single crochet in the next stitch four times. So, first stitch we need to make one single crochet into, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet, and then two single crochet and then one and two and then one and two and then the next part of round nine says single crochet four so we're just going to make single single crochet each of the next four stitches now the third part of round nine says make two single crochet in the following stitch, single crochet two, three times. So we're going to make a two single crochet and then single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochet, single crochet in the next two stitches, two single crochet, single crochet in the next two stitches and then just to finish off round nine it says single crochet three so we're going to make single crochet in each of the last three stitches now round 10 says single crochet um open brackets single crochet two make two single crochet in the next stitch three times so i'm going to make the first single crochet and then we're going to single crochet two, so one, two, two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet two, so that's one, and then two, make two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet two, so one, two, two single crochet in the next stitch. And then that is our three times. Uh, now we need to single crochet nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it says make two single crochet in the following stitch. Single crochet three, make two single crochet in the next stitch. So Make two single crochet in that stitch, single crochet three, and then make two single crochet in the next stitch. And now the last part of round 10 says single crochet seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that gets us to the end of the round. Round 11 says, single crochet four, make two single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet five, make two single crochet in the following stitch. Single crochet 25. So firstly, we're going to single crochet in the first four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to make two single crochet in the next stitch. That's two single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet five. One, two, three, 
four, five. Then make two single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to single crochet 25, which should get us to the end of this round. And that is 25. Now, rounds 12 to 19, which is eight rounds, just want us to single crochet in each stitch. So I'll start off. So that was just a single crochet in each stitch. Let's say for eight rounds. Right, so now we've done eight rounds of straight crochet, we need to move on to round 20. So round 20, the start of round 20 says single crochet four, and then open brackets, single crochet three, single crochet two together, close brackets three times. So we're going to single crochet in the first four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to single crochet three one two three and then single crochet two together and then single crochet three one two three and then single crochet two together and then single crochet three, one, two, three, and single crochet two together. And now we need to single crochet 19, which should get us to the end of the round. And that is 19. So now round 21. Um, the start of round 21 says single crochet three. And then open bracket, single crochet two, single crochet two together, close bracket three times. So we're going to single crochet one, two, single crochet two together. Um, one, two, single crochet two together and then one two single crochet two together and then single crochet 20 which again should get us to the end of the round that's 19 and 20 so now we move on to round 22 which starts again with single crochet three so one two three and then open bracket single crochet single crochet two together close bracket three times so we do a single crochet and then single crochet two together, single crochet, 
single crochet two together single crochet single crochet two together and then we single crochet 20 again which should get us to the end of the round Right, now round 23, so it starts with single crochet two, one, two, and then single crochet two together five times. So single crochet two together, and then single crochet two together again, and then this is the third time, and then for a fourth time, and then that's the last single crochet two together and then single crochet 17 which should get us to the end of the round Sixteen, and that's seventeen. So now we've reached round twenty-four, in which we start off by single crochet two together four times. That's one, two, three, four. And then we single crochet 14 and single crochet two together. Seven. And that's 11, 12, 13, 14. And then single crochet two together between these last two stitches now round 25 starts off with a single crochet two together three times so one two three then we need to single crochet 11 and single crochet two together so one, two, one, two, nine, ten, eleven, and then single crochet two together between and then single crochet two together between these last two stitches. Right, it's at this point that we need to stuff the canary that we have made so far. So just take your toy stuffing and put it into this hole. Uh, you want it to be quite firm but not overstuffed. So once you've stuffed your canary, it should look something like this. And we're now going to continue with round 26. Um, so this is going to be a little over one round. Um, I'll explain what this means when we get to the end of the round. Um, but it starts off with just a single crochet three together, which is like a single crochet two together, but you pull up one more loop through the last stitch. So, as so. We then need to do a single crochet two together. And then we need to single crochet in the next nine stitches. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the last bit of round 26 says single crochet two together, which is why at the start I've stated that it's over one round, because as you see, we've only got one stitch left in this round. So the single crochet two together is going to be between the last stitch in this round and the first stitch of the next round, as so. Uh, row 27 then starts at this point um, and it begins with a single crochet two together and then a single crochet in the, each of the next six stitches one two three four five six and then we're going to chain one and turn our work so rows 28 to 30 um, which is three rows we're going to half double crochet in each of the first four stitches chain one and then turn so half double crochet one two three four chain one turn and then do that again one two three four chain one turn and then one two three and four now row 31 says half double crochet half double crochet two together and then half double crochet So, half double crochet one, half double crochet two together, and then half double crochet one, and then chain one turn. Row 32 says half double crochet three. So, oops, we're simply going to half double crochet into each of these stitches Oops. chain one turn and then row 33 says half double crochet two together half double crochet so crocheting those two together half double crochet chain one turn Right, so row 34 says half double crochet two, chain one turn. So just crochet into each of these two stitches. Chain one turn. And then we're going to do row 35 to finish off, which is half double crochet two together. Half double crochet two together and then we're going to fasten off there we go and that is the body of your canary finished so the next part of the canary you're going to be making is the wings so again you'll need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and bright yellow double knit yarn and we're going to start by again by making a magic loop as so And then we're going to make three single crochet into this loop. So one, two, three, and then pull tight. And 
we're then going to finish off by making a chain one and turn. Row one then requires us to make two single crochet in each of these three stitches and then making a chain one and turn. So two single crochet in the first stitch and then another two single crochet and again and then just chain one and turn. So you then need to move on to row two in which you have to do single crochet, make two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat that three times. So single crochet and then two single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet, two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet, two single crochet in the next stitch and then finish off by chain one turning right so now we need to do rows three to seven in which you just need to single crochet in each stitch and chain one turn for five rows so you now need to move on to row eight in which you need to single crochet two together, single crochet five, and then single crochet two together. So, two together. One, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet two together. Um, Row nine, you just need to single crochet in each stitch. And then chain one. And then chain one turn at the end. Row 10, single crochet two together, single crochet three, single crochet two together. So two together, one, two, three, and then two together. Row 11, single crochet in each stitch again. And chain one turn at the end. Row 12, single crochet two together, single crochet, single crochet two together. So that's two together, single crochet, single crochet, two together, chain one turn. Row 13, single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, chain one turn. And then row 14, single crochet, two together, single crochet, two together, single crochet. Row 15 is single crochet, two together, chain one turn. And then finally row 16, we just need to single crochet in this remaining stitch and then fasten off. So that is your wing and you then need to make another one exactly the same. So the next part of the canary we're going to make is the beak um, in which you'll need your 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and light brown yarn. Um, again, we're going to start with a magic loop and again, we're going to make three single crochet into this. One, two, three, and then pull tight. Um, now we're going to make two single crochet into each of these stitches, um, but we're not going to chain turn, chain one turn, which means um, that if you can see this stitch here, 
where my left thumb is, is the first stitch that we're going to crochet into. So this can be a little bit fiddly. Um, so you need to make two single crochet into that stitch and then make two single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into this last stitch and then fasten off. I also like to slip the following stitch and before I fasten off. So the final part of the bird we're going to make are the feet. So again, you'll need your crochet hook and light brown yarn. So we're going to start off by chaining four. So if you make a slip ring and then one, two, three, four. So after you've made the chain four, you need to single crochet in the second chain stitch from the hook and the next two chain stitches. So one and then the next chain stitch and then the following one. After this, you need to chain four again. One, two, three, four. And once again, a single crochet in the second chain stitch from the hook and the next two chain stitches, exactly as you did before. One, and the next two chain stitches. Like so. And then once again, you need to chain four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet in the second chain stitch of the hook and the next two chain stitches, exactly the same as you've done twice already. One, single crochet, and then another one and you should end up with something that looks a bit like this. Uh, now the next thing we're going to do is chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to single crochet in the second chain stitch from the hook and the next three chain stitches. So very similar to as you've done three times already but we've got an extra chain stitch to single crochet into. So, the second one from hook and then one, two, three. So your work should look something like this. Now, finally, you just need to slip the first chain stitch you made here and then fasten off. So this is your foot and um, this is the bit you're going to attach to the body. You may also want to sew closed this small gap in the center of the foot. You now need to make another foot exactly the same as this one that you've previously made. So now I'm going to show you how to make up your canary. Um, so you need to have all of the bits I've shown you how to make previously in the video. So the body, two wings, two legs and a beak. And you're also going to need a needle and a pair of scissors. Um, and also you'll need your yellow and brown yarn to be able to sew them in place. So firstly, we're going to take the body and sew up this little hole at the base. Here. So you'll need a bit of yellow yarn um, and just thread your needle and then just sew up this little hole. Like so. 
through. So next we're going to sew the feet in place. So if you get some light brown yarn, so you'll need to sew the longer end of this to the base of the bird. So around around here I'd say. So you need to sew both legs in place in the same way. And just make sure they're securely attached. And then you can fasten off. So, so the next thing to do is sew the wings on. So these should be sewn at the side of the body, like that on both sides. Um, so you'll need to use some bright yellow yarn. And I find the easiest way to do this is once you've secured your yarn, uh, place the wings in position on either side of the body, make sure you're happy with them, and then sew them by pushing the needle through the entire body. So, just between the two wings to make sure they're attached, but you still get this nice wing outline around the side. So, you can just continue doing this until you feel that the wings are securely attached. And so try not to pull it too tightly as this can make dents in your bird and misshape it. Then you should, your canary should look like this. And the next step is to sew the beak in place just to the front of the face. So you'll need some light brown yarn. Just have a few stitches to secure it to the face. And you should end up with something that looks a bit like that if you cut the loose end. And now the final thing to do is to make the eyes. So this is where you'll use your black yarn. If you just get a strand of your black four ply yarn, thread your needle. So you need to make eyes on the head either side of the beak, so I'd say around here and here, just by making small stitches through the head.
And then, once you're happy with your eyes, you just need to fasten off. So, at this point, you then need to evaluate whether you want to add highlights to the eyes or if you're happy with how it looks. So, I'm quite happy with how my bird looks, um, but you might think that you want to add a little extra detail um, just using a regular sewing needle and um, white sewing cotton. Just put a little stitch in each eye, can add a little bit of extra detail to the eyes. So, there you have it. One canary ready to send to your MP in September to ask them to help support the climate crisis. So why are we making these canaries? Canary Craftivists is a movement organised by Craftivist Collectives um, that tries to take a quiet positive approach to climate activism. Um, this is happening in the lead up to the COP26 summit which is happening in Glasgow. The aim of this movement is to make politicians aware of the vast number of people that are passionate about the climate crisis. So the idea is that you'll make a little canary such as this and send it to your MP with a handwritten letter um, and a template for that can be found in the description below. Sending that to your MP will show them how much the climate crisis means to you and will hopefully encourage them to take a more active approach to combating climate change. The idea is that these birds will be sent to politicians in September 2021, um, just ahead of the COP26 climate summit. But I would encourage you to place your canary somewhere in a public place with a little banner. You can find um, details of how to make that banner in the description below, um, just to encourage more people to join the movement, um, tell them what it's all about. There's also a lot of other things you can get involved with regarding this, um, the most prominent being to organise a flock of people to gather dressed as canaries um, and alert the local news media about that to spread the word. Again, there's details about that in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do go check out. I've got a few other videos if you're interested in crochet tutorials or a load of other patterns on my blog. Link in the description.